We are in the, the temple, Nippur temple. This building was built in 1837. It is what we call the old cellar because we have a new cellar and new offices. But this is where the heart of Nippur is. We sell to 72 countries, I would say mostly European markets. Well, I would describe Nipport um, as less is more. We don't use any chemicals. We want to be as organic as possible to respect the different terroirs. In Lidoro, which is, uh, of course, our base, and but we are now in Bairada, Down, and uh, Porto Alegre, and Vinhos Verdes as well. We want the wines to really express where they come from. We want them to be themselves and represent what they are. This is who we delivered wine and what wine and uh, how many liters. It's amazing how the, the old people had so much passion and care about their handwriting. If I would write this, it would look a mess, but it, it looks so beautiful. I am the fifth generation. My son, Daniel and Marco, they are also working in the company. My daughter is still a bit too young and I'm going to become a grandfather. So the seventh generation is on the way. When you mention the words passion, tradition, we really live this place in particular. Recently, we have redone and reused the old cellar, but the amazing thing is that we changed a little bit, but we actually didn't change a thing. So I didn't want it to be better. I wanted it to be like my father left it, and his father and his father. Keeping the webs and the dirt and not cleaning the windows is, is part of the magic. It's like going to a you know, monumental church. Sorry to interrupt you. Nice. So the cork history is much, much older than Nieport history. Um, the first bottles were produced in the 17th century. Um, this is one of those examples. And the cork was the perfect choice for stopping the wine from getting out of the bottle. It's impressive that you can open a wine from 1863 and the cork is still working. Of course, sometimes it ages also. The cork tree forests, the Montados, are part of Portugal represent very much and very well, I would say, the south of Portugal. While we love the Douro for its extreme mountain area, the south is beautiful and the Montados are very important. They are a tradition, but I think they are part of nature these days and it's very important to respect the Montados as they are today. Home, I remember being responsible for opening the bottles, pulling out the cork, decanting, looking after the wines. <laughs> to be having a bottle that my father bottled, to have the potential of these old wines, and being able to share them with friends. But it is my responsibility to also bottle things for the next generation. It's a joy, it's fantastic to be where we are today.